Clear Creek County will have to repaint the sign in front of the sheriff's office. That much is clear after the county's three commissioners voted unanimously to accept Sheriff Rick Albers' resignation on Tuesday morning. All in favor? Aye. 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 Days after the sheriff announced his retirement in a one-sentence email to them. His decision comes less than a year into his latest four-year term. And after criticism from this very county board over how Albers apologized for the 2022 shooting of Christian Glass and criticism over a lack of changes made at the department since then. Glass was shot and killed by a Clear Creek County deputy in Silver Plume in June of 2022 after he called 911 for help in a mental health crisis. Albers didn't mention the commissioner's criticism in his retirement announcement. Board Chairman Randy Wheelock says he read between the lines. We know that's at least part of the case. Of course, ours wasn't the only criticism leveled. I would say that I was not surprised. Uh, it's a lot of pressure to be under. The pressure is now on the county board to replace him. They met in executive session for about an hour Tuesday morning discussing what will be next. Wheelock can't talk about what happened in that meeting, but told me today whoever takes the job will have to show a willingness to make change. Our intent is to ultimately um, put a process together and do the best job we can of, of uh, making an appointment uh, and of a new sheriff to serve un until the next general election in 2024. We don't want to hurry that. We want to make sure that we get it right. Albers came into the board chamber for a bit while the board was in a separate room meeting about his replacement, but he left before the board came back into session. So his last day will be August 3rd. His undersheriff told me today the sheriff has no further comment about his retirement. The board will likely appoint someone to fill the role of sheriff until 2024 when voters can elect in interim sheriff to fill the rest of Albers term, which ends in 2026. So voters will have to vote twice. They'll vote in 2024 and then again in 2026 to try to get the county back. You think of the size of that jurisdiction and what happened there, the size of the story, mm -hmm. so yeah. much larger than the jurisdiction. But when you get down to it, it, it's a small community. It's a very small community in Clear Creek. And I think there was a lot of pressure on Sheriff Albers after this story, not just from the outside. You know, there were a lot of outside voices, but it, it, it's interesting the timing of this that happened right after the county board, three county leaders make that suggestion that, hey, make some changes and show that you're serious about this or move along and the sheriff announces his retirement. He said in his Facebook post that it came with mixed emotions. That's the most that we've heard from the sheriff about why he's retiring at this time. But 43 years of service to Clear Creek County, a lot of people know him up there. And even the interim position, they got to really get that right. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens. We've heard from the county board that they want to see someone who's committed to making changes in Clear Creek County to try to get some crisis response in place so another incident like Christian's doesn't happen again. Uh, so they got a lot of work to do up there. All right, Steve. Thanks. We'll continue to follow the story, of course.